My name is Nancy Ip, the Morningside Professor of Life Science at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. This is Wei Chen Fan, Wei Wei Chen, and Amy Fu. We are delighted to have this opportunity to introduce to you our neuron paper entitled Accent Directs the Amplification and Differentiation of Intermediate Progenitors in a Developing Cerebral Cortex. The increase in mammalian brain size during evolution is thought to underlie the development of higher cognitive functions. Perturbations of the process of cortical expansion can result in either a smaller or larger brain, that is, microcephaly or macrocephaly, respectively. However, the molecular signals controlling proper brain size are largely unknown. The size of cortex is primarily determined by the number of neurons. Cortical neurons are generated by two major types of neuroprogenitor cells, radial glia and intermediate progenitors. During neurogenesis, amplification of the progenitor pool is achieved by the generation of intermediate progenitors from radial glia. Differentiation of these progenitors then leads to the production of neurons. The market increase in the population of intermediate progenitors during cortical evolution led scientists to hypothesize that the increase of intermediate progenitor pool underlies cerebral cortex expansion. In this study, we asked two key questions. First, does the increase of intermediate progenitor pool lead to cerebral cortex expansion? Second, how is the size of progenitor pool controlled during neurogenesis? We made the important discovery that precise regulation of the amplification and differentiation of intermediate progenitors by a scaffold protein axon controls the expansion of cerebral cortex. Importantly, the phosphorylation of axon switches the fate of intermediate progenitors from amplification to differentiation during neurogenesis. Axon is considered a master scaffold for various signaling pathways that are implicated in neurogenesis. Interestingly, loss of axon in Sanipus and zebrafish embryos results in microcephaly-like smaller brains, prompting us to investigate whether and how axon regulates embryonic neurogenesis during brain development. As a first step, to elucidate the potential roles of axon in neurogenesis, we manipulated the levels of endogenous axon in neuroprogenitor cells. By injecting a small molecule, XAV939, in the ventricle of embryonic mouse brains, we are able to elevate axon protein levels transiently. Increased axon protein levels enhanced neural production which consequently led to more cortical neurons and an enlarged cortex. To understand how axon works, we specifically examine the effects of XAV939 onto populations of neural progenitors. Interestingly, this small molecule only increased the number of intermediate progenitors, but not the radial gear. Furthermore, we used in utero electroporation to elucidate axon's functions by specifically overexpressing or suppressing axon level. Concordantly, increased axon protein levels enlarge the intermediate progenitor population. Meanwhile, loss of axon reduced the neural progenitor pools, causing precocious neural differentiation of progenitors. Next, we investigated how axon regulates intermediate progenitor amplification and neural differentiation. We observed that axon was enriched in the nuclei of neural progenitors upon differentiation. We manipulated the localization of axon using point mutants that allow the protein to be expressed specifically in the cytoplasm or nucleus. Cytoplasmic axon in radio gear enhance intermediate progenitor amplification, while nuclear axon in intermediate progenitors promote neural differentiation. We further investigated the molecular signal that controls subcellular axon protein trafficking. Axon is phosphorylated by alkanes CDK5 and that phosphation was induced in neural progenitors upon neural differentiation. Importantly, phosphation of axon mediated the nuclear localization of the protein, expressing of the phosphorylation mimetic or deficient axon mutants, enhanced or inhibited neural differentiation, respectively. How does subcellular axon work? Axon interacts with GSK3 beta in the cytoplasm, 
blocking this interaction reduces intermediate progenitor population, indicating that cytoplasm axin controls the intermediate progenitor expansion through binding to JSK3 beta. Meanwhile, nuclear axin interacts with beta catenin and increases the transcription activity of beta catenin, blocking this interaction inhibiting neural differentiation. Therefore, nuclear axin promotes neural differentiation through activating beta catenin. In summary, we show that subcellular pools of axon bind to distinct regulators to coordinate the transition of intermediate progenitors from amplification to neuronal differentiation. The precise control of these signaling processes ensures the production of proper number of neurons. Since both GSK3 and beta catenin are the converging points for multiple signaling processes during neurogenesis, we suggest that Axon phosphorylation is a master switch controlling these processes. Therefore, orchestrated amplification and differentiation of intermediate progenitors governs the evolutionary expansion of the cerebral cortex. Axon, acting as a conductor conducting the orchestra, serves as the master signal that governs the proper production of neurons during development. Our findings provide important insights into the evolutionary expansion of cerebral cortex as well as neurodevelopmental disorders. We hope you enjoy reading our paper.